This is where we're at. Trying to get her to come out of my shirt and explore in the grass. She's being cautious. Aren't you being cautious, Cinder? You can come out, you know. back of my neck is burning because it is in the sun. <laughs> I am providing her shade. So I decided to bring her out of here or out here outside just in case something happens. Uh, you never know. I mean, Obviously, I wasn't expecting Dixie to have liver cancer, and she never really got to experience anything in her whole life. Because I got her just before uh, the parasite fiasco of 2022. Jeez, my, the back of my neck is really burning. Maybe I should move. But, um, yeah, Cinder here has laid, what, four, maybe five clutches of eggs now. And she just doesn't show any sign of stopping. Um, the last time I weighed her, last month, she was... Uh, a little lighter than she is now she put on about 69 grams in a single month and I have not been overfeeding her so to me that says she's making a fifth or sixth clutch of eggs again so uh, the only the only hognose species I know of or can recall off the top of my head that does that is the tricolor hognose and the females will literally breed themselves to death unprompted so I'm afraid that she might be doing the same thing. She just won't stop laying eggs. Um, they're all infertile, so they're tearing her insides up. I don't think pairing her would actually stop that from happening. And there goes a plane. Really low. Considering there's no storms. Holy shit, she's low. It's kind of flying in the opposite direction of the airport there. Normally they don't travel in that direction. Well, if he's crashing, at least they'll have my camera running all ready to catch it. Wow. Yeah, I don't usually see him that low unless we have high winds. And the well, airport is actually in the complete opposite, well, not complete opposite direction, but he's not flying to or from it, which is kind of weird. I've never seen them travel in that direction before. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. So yeah, just in case anything happens to her, I don't want to have any regrets. I'd like her to at least have gotten outside to enjoy herself. She still hasn't come out of my shirt, by the way. She's just moved her lower half, or sorry, her first half more. But uh, yeah, no regrets on my part. Um, I don't know if snakes can have regrets as they're dying. But, you know, it kind of, it really disturbed me that Dixie passed the way that she did and I never gave her any sort of enjoyment. She never even got to roam the room before I locked everything down. And you know, having just come out of COVID and experienced two years of lockdown myself, it didn't feel very good. So I can't imagine that's all you get to experience in life. Um, Cinder has a four foot by two foot enclosure. So she gets to experience more room than the other snakes and she actually has decorations. Whereas in the bins, I still haven't gotten back around to uh, buying more decorations and populating them. Mostly I'm noticing because the water bowls have, well no, the water bowls have actually gotten smaller, but in general, that bird is so loud. Yeah, in general that bird is super loud, but um, actually it's because of the humid hides. The humid hides take, about a, uh, take up about a fourth of their bins, and in her case, the her big humid hide takes up about uh, one eighth of her enclosure's lower space, so, and she's not utilizing it. But uh, I, I, you know, knowing, knowing what I know now, 
Um, I want them to always have access to human hides. Uh, first two years that I was doing this, I would only provide it when they were in shed. Now they're just going to be in there permanently because I noticed that they do like to utilize them and I find that it actually increases their appetite. Having access to something that you want would make you hungry. If you're just miserable all the time, uh, then you're not going to have much of an appetite or want to eat. Now, you know, at least that's how it goes for me. And they're more simple-minded creatures, you know, so... Just trying to simplify things and standardize things, but, um... You know, for her, she's calm enough and relaxed enough that I feel I can bring her outside and it's not going to negatively affect her, um appetite. She just doesn't want to move. She's just a happy girl. Happy girl? Look at that happy girl. She's a beautiful sable. Doesn't have a care in the world for the most part. But she does have troubles. And those troubles are continuing on. Um, you never remember what I've said in the past, but in her case, her problems with laying multiple upon multiple upon multiple clutches could be because of the medication she took um you know reading up on the side effects you know the primary ones are if it's taking longer than 14 days and she was on two medications for six months straight but it, uh, if it's taken longer for 14 days it will it's not even a question but it will cause kidney and liver damage permanent kidney and liver damage so she uh she's after li looking at the signs and symptoms of liver damage in snakes, I kind of do believe she is working with a reduced functioning liver um, because her back end is thinner, which is one of the signs. Her stool is lighter, which is one of the signs that I saw that in Dixie when she had liver cancer. And uh, in general, they'll have uh, periods of heightened activity and she does go a little crazy sometimes rubbing up in the, uh, on her glass every once in a while and then they will have more periods of inactivity which is kind of what she's in right now so I just brought her outside during one of her inactive periods seeing if I couldn't get her active and obviously she's perfectly happy staying still and doing nothing so you know I don't expect her to be around the full 14 years that I wish all my hog noses would be around to, you know, their lifespan is 14 to 20 years. You know, I'm, and I'm in it for the long haul with all of them. Well, for most of them. I don't expect to keep every last one, but, um, you know, I would like them to be around for the full 14. And I don't think she'll make that just because of the medication. That being said, I mean, the 14 days that she took the medication obviously didn't knock it out, but we could have had a period of resting, and I would have just kept her sterile while dealing with the parasite, and then we could have come back to it after her body had recovered, because it, the damage didn't have to be permanent. Um, to me, it makes absolutely no sense why vets give you a medication, and they don't list the side effects, and they don't tell you how long you're supposed to give them the medication or they just go beyond that period because um yeah it, the side effects and the uh, directions were not on the bottle it's just take this much by mouth every day until gone and then you request more and they're like well the parasite's still not gone so we're just going to keep giving her more and the medication is the medication description when you look it up online specifically says do not give for longer than 14 days or it will cause permanent kidney and liver damage. So, we're there, unfortunately. And now we're dealing with her laying multiple eggs and trying to kill herself. So, yeah. In case anything happens, I'd like to at least experience being outside more often. So, we're gonna, I'm going to try and make this a thing. Look at that cute face. She is a cute snake. Very cute. 